Hey I'm Max and welcome to my idle game tutorial. In this tutorial at the end we should have this result right here which includes a updating graph that updates every 10 seconds with the new dollars that you have, different coins that you can buy and sell that changes price randomly and that gives you an interest based on how many you own. So for example this one I have 22 now and every 10 seconds it gives me interest based on that and shows in my wallet. So so far we've started a little bit of the UI and we've done the big numbers. Now let's start actually making some stuff. So first off the dollar text here, I actually don't want it to be only shown in the menu, I want it to be shown everywhere, at least in trade in wallet. So I'll drag it up here under the background. Then I'll create an empty game object and call it trade menu. In my dollar menu I'll add an image. Under the trade menu I'll add a button and I'll set it to my button sprite. And then I'll make it a bit bigger, maybe a little bit more down here. Then I'll set the text to max coin, which is the first coin on this game. Obviously you you might not want to call that max coin in your game. I'll set the size to 80 and the color to white. Now later we actually want to show information to it, like the percentage and if it's going up or down, things like that. But for now just doing that is fine. And on my canvas I want to create another game object and call it info menu, which is going to pop up when we click on a coin. On this info menu I actually want to put a panel in the background to make sure that we cannot click any coin in the background because that panel is raycast target that means you cannot click through it. I'll put it dark so it looks better and on that panel I'll create a text where I will put the info about the coin. So I'll put it about to this size here and I'll anchor it to the right side. I'll set the text to white and make it a bit bigger. I will also center it and at the bottom of the info menu I'll add a button to go back so I'll type back, I'll put it to let's say 30 font size white and then the button, I'll add the button sprite make it a bit bigger and put it down here I'll actually make the text a bit bigger then I'll add another button for cell I'll rename them so we can keep track of them so back, cell cell I actually set the text to red so we know it's cell and another one for buy, so I'll rename it to buy. I'll put the text to buy and green. So now all we have to do is get all of our menus and make the functions to call with the buttons. So I'll do public game object array. I'll call them menus. Then I'll do a public void go to menu int i for the index. So then I'll do for int i equals 0, i is less than menus.length, i++, plus plus, which is looping through all of our menus. And actually here the i is the same, so I'll just do menu here. So what I want to do is disable all of the menus, so I'll do menus i dot set active false, so I'll disable them all. And then I'll do menus at menu, which is the one we want to activate, and set active true. And I will also create right away the public void sell and the public void buy. Then I want to create the class for the things that I'm going to buy and sell. In my case it's crypto because it's sort of a crypto simulation game. So I'll do public class crypto. And in my case all I'll really need is a public string name. A public big number price. I also want a public float volatility which pretty much represent how likely it is to switch from going up to down and down to up and also how fast it's going to go down or up and I also want to add a interest rate then I'll do public crypto array and cryptos I will also create a private int uh, inspecting crypto or crypto info the one what we're, that we're showing info about and here I'll do a public void show crypto info and then the int for the crypto, so I'll do a crypto here. And then what I will want to do is go to the menu for the info. In my case, I think it will be three. Then set the crypto info to crypto, which is the parameter that we passed. And this is because we need to keep it in memory. So if we decide to sell or buy, we know which one to sell or buy. And then we also need to have the crypto info text. And here we can set the crypto info text right now to something like just the name pretty much. So cryptos 
uh, at crypto dot name. Yes, yeah, so actu actually, I think it's go to menu two, but we'll we'll check and see. So now I will add my menus. I think I have three right now, so it will be the wallet menu and then the trade menu and the info menu. So it's two, just like I said at the end. Now I need to put the crypto info text, so right here under the panel text. And as you can see, my cryptos are not showing up. That's because the class crypto is not serializable, so it doesn't show in the editor. I just need to go up top and do little brackets and do system dot serializable. And now they will show right here in my game and I can add them. So right now I'll just do one. I'll call it max coin volatility of 0 0.5, let's say, and an interest of 0 0.2. Now I will set all of my buttons, so the wallet button will call the game go to menu 0. My trade button will call game go to menu 1. Then my max button here will call game show crypto info 0. Then the powers button here will call go to menu 3. And the settings button will call go to menu 4. I also want to set the back button to go to menu 1 so it goes back to the trade and I want to add also my cell to the cell function even though it's empty right now and the buy to the buy function. Now I'll save because if I lose everything again I'm going to be mad and in the game I'll remove the thing that I did with the power of the player because obviously you don't want the money to go up by itself and I'll make it so on start you go to menu 0 so you go on wallet at the beginning so now if I hit play it should show my wallet and if I hit trade now it shows all the coins and if I click a coin it shows me the name of the coin buy and sell if I go back go back to trade so this is working fine so thanks for watching part 3 of the tutorial we finally managed to get a UI that's working so now we can start doing the buy and the sell Make sure to check out the other parts when they're out. You can also feel free to check out my other Unity tutorials and subscribe if you want.